Hello everyone, I'm here to show you a Merry Christmas Bubble Letters template today. And in this tutorial, I'll also show you how to use clipping masks, which is um, a nice little addition. So <clears throat> let's unpackage this template. There's a print disclaimer, just shut that off in the layers panel. You're going to see that you have, this is a five by seven template, but if you look at the image size, it is actually sized at a 10 by 14, so you could print it up to a 10 by 14 size. You can also enlarge this template by just changing the width and the height. It has to stay within the aspect ratio of a five by seven, um, but change you can change it just by, let's say you wanna put in a uh, 20 by 28. Um, you would have to press okay. You wanna make sure that you have the preserved details enlargement press okay. I'm not going to do it because it will take too long, but that's how you would enlarge this template to print it at a larger size. If you wanted to, you must do it before you add any photographs in. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have here, have yourself a merry little Christmas, have yourself and little are text elements, but they are not editable. So you just click them on. You can click them off. You can press command T and you can move them. You can enlarge them uh, you, and you can just shut it off if you want to, but you um, cannot change the font. The font is the way it is. So uh, I, also I also applied an effect. So you can see here that have yourself and little, they're two separate layers. Little is over here. You can turn that one off too. Um, are gold. So if you look underneath the layer that I'm on right now, I'm on have yourself a, and I look under the layer, it says effect and the effects layer, I can click on it and you can see it says pattern overlay. That is the gold color. I can click that off and then you just have yourself some black letters. I also have a color layer overlay applied for you. If you click on that, it's gray. If I turn off the gray and I have the pattern overlay on, it is black, uh, uh, gold. If you double click on effects, it opens up the layers panel, the layer style panel, and you can go in and change. You can add a stroke. The stroke is a line that goes around it. You can add, you could change the color for the stroke if you want to. You can turn off the pattern. You can add a different color overlay. If you would like it to be purple, you can make it purple. And you can do any of that. I'm going to press OK, and you'll see now I have actually added another um, effect into this layers panel. It is a stroke layer. I can turn that on, turn it off. I have a different color. I change the color. I turn it on, turn it off. This pattern is still here. I have changed the color to purple. That's why it's there. Um, I'm going to go backwards in my history and disable all of that because I don't want that there. But that's which how, how you would use the effects in a layer so you can let's go back to this have yourself and little are both gold right now or you could change the color so that comes standard for you it just sort of gives you a little head start and now we have our letters okay so if you are using the full version photoshop not the elements it will look like this okay you will have a folder one folder that says Merry Letters. It has effects and a stroke already put around it. You will have Christmas letters. You have Merry. I'm clicking on it, I'm clicking it off. You can see Merry goes away. Christmas. Now, Photoshop uh, Elements does not allow you to use folders. So I have also created an Elements version. You will just see, if we open up the folder, you'll see all the letters are in there for you. So you'll have, uh, you just won't have a folder. So what I'm going to show you by inserting a photograph right now into the folder, you will not be able to do that with elements, but you will be able to do everything else with elements that I'm showing you today. So I'm highlighting the Merry letters. I'm placing file, place embedded. I'm going to choose a photograph, press place. Now this photograph is only going to be placed over the Merry letters, all of them, okay? So I'm gonna press the check mark. I'm still on, on that photograph layer. I right click, I press create clipping mask, and I have now clipped that photo inside the Merry 
letters folder. Now you see I have effects here. I'm going to click on the effects. I now have a stroke, a very small black line going around there. I also have a second stroke that I had applied, which was the gold lettering. So you can have an option. You can also, again, just as I showed you before, double click on the effects, go in and change the stroke to whatever you want it to be, or add a stroke by clicking the plus sign. So, um, and then you can do the same exact thing by clicking on the Christmas letters, going to file, place embedded, find your photo and place your photo over all of the Christmas letters. Again, you can only do that if you're using a full version of Photoshop. Now let me show you how to apply these to individual letters at a time. So I'm gonna turn off the effects and I'm gonna open up the folder for Mary. I'm gonna highlight the M, I'm gonna click on the M, which brings up the M on my, on my screen. I can see I'm in the move tool and I have my show transformation controls applied. Plus file, place embedded, I'll just use the same picture, why not? All right, it's really large. I'm only putting this over the M for right now. And I'm going to right click and create clipping mask and clip it right over the M. And then I'll just keep doing that. I'll either click on the E directly or I'll click on the E in the layers panel, Let's file, place embedded, and you'll do this either in elements or full Photoshop. And this is how you would, um, fill up all of your letters with clipping masks. It really doesn't take a very long time. You right click, create clipping mask, and then you can drag it around inside the clipping mask. You can also, if, if you don't have your transformation tools automatically open, you press command T and it opens them up. And that's really it, you guys. Um, you do the same thing with Christmas letters. There is a wreath decoration. This is the deluxe, so you do have your wreath background and you do have uh, your border. So you would have a white background or a wreath background and there is a gold border, I mean a gray border that uh, is already applied for you. And I'm gonna just show you very quickly the bubble letters, the Christmas elements and CC bubble letters for the eight by 10 accompaniment. So if you have purchased the eight by 10, it is very similar. This is just so you can up, you can make wall art that is an eight by 10. If you'll see here, it is image size, uh, really 20 by 16. Again, as I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial, you could just upsize this to anything within that aspect ratio, um, 30 by 24, however you would like to upsize it to. Uh, it's really the same template, except that it's already made in the elements version. So there are no, uh, there are no, there are no um, folders. So you would just have to put everything into each letter directly. And you have the wreath background just as the other one. And um, you also have the border. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at Photobox Designs.